Standard 7, Subject Maths Chapter 4, Angles and Pairs of Angles Practice Set 19 Let's learn angles in a linear pair. Write the names of the angles in the figure alongside. So you can say that angle PQR and angle RQS are the names of the angles in the given figure. What type of a pair of angles is it? You have learned in this chapter that two angles having a common arm and separate interiors are adjacent angles. So these are adjacent angles. Next, which arms of the angles are not the common arms? Your answer, Ray QP and Ray QS are not the common arms. Then you have to find out the measure of angle PQR and angle RQS. So this activity is there in your textbook. So what you are going to do is, you are going to make use of a protractor and then you are going to find the measure of the two given angles. Alright, so the activity is on page number 29 of your textbook. So once you measure them, what do you get? Let's have a look. Angle PQR measures 125 degree and angle RQS measures 55 degree. So when you add them, it is equal to 180 degree. And you have learned that the two angles whose addition is 180 degree are called as supplementary angles. Therefore, these two angles are adjacent angles as well as supplementary angles. The adjacent angles, angle PQR and angle RQS are supplementary. So what can we infer from this? The angles PQR and angle RQS in the figure above are adjacent angles and are also supplementary angles. The arms that are not common to both angles form a pair of opposite rays. That is, these arms form a straight line. The arms which are not common are forming a straight line. We say that these pairs, these angles form a linear pair. Okay? So what is the criteria for linear pair? Have you followed? Try to understand again. Two angles which are adjacent to each other and the arms which are not common are opposite rays. Then that type of angles are called as angles in a linear pair. What is the other way to identify them? Yes, the sum will be 180 degrees since there are opposite rays. Okay. And a common arm. That means the sum of the measures of the angles in a linear pair is 180 degree. So here you see that we get to see adjacent angles, supplementary angles because supplementary angles form 180 degree and opposite rays. So combination of all three makes up our angles in a linear pair. Okay. So you should not have any confusion. You already have learned in the previous practice set what are adjacent angles, what are supplementary angles and what are opposite rays. A combination of all three makes up our angles in a linear pair. Okay. So let's see what you know now. Now I know angles which have a common arm and whose other arms form a straight line are said to be angles in a linear pair. 
angles in a linear pair are supplementary angles. So, the angles which are in a linear pair will always form supplementary angles. Okay. There is one activity mentioned in this chapter. You can do it at home. Use straws or sticks to make all the kinds of angles that you have learned about. So, in this chapter, you have learned about various angles. You can definitely try this activity where you can use straws or sticks to make different angles that you have learned in this chapter. Now let's see what is practice set 19. Question. Draw the pairs of angles as described below. Means we have to draw here. If that is not possible, you have to say why. You have to give reason if it's not possible. So there are altogether six questions. We are going to solve one at a time. So let's go to question number one. What are we supposed to draw here? Complementary angles that are not adjacent. You know you can draw complementary angles separately if we don't want them to be adjacent. So okay, any two angles we will draw separately. But the condition is they should be complementary. So that means the addition should be, yes, 90 degree. So this is a open-ended question. You can draw any two angles of any given measurement, but the sum should be 90. So it could be 40 plus 50, which gives 90. Or it could be 30, 60. Okay, let's have a look one uh, solution, one. So here we have angle ABC, which is, Measuring 40 degree, angle DEF with a measure of 50 degree. Okay, and they make a pair of complementary angles that are not adjacent. So we have fulfilled the requirement which is asked in the question. Okay, so kindly draw angles with appropriate measures, show the measure in the figure, and name the angles. Accordingly, you will complete your solution. You can take any measures whose sum will be 90 for complementary angles. Okay. Let's move on to question number 2. Angles in a linear pair which are not supplementary. Okay. Now we know that just now you have learned angles which are in a linear pair are always supplementary. The sum is always 180 degree. So, we cannot draw angles in a linear pair which are not supplementary. They are always supplementary. So, let's have a look at the solution. Sum of angles in a linear pair is 180 degree. They are supplementary. Therefore, angles in a linear pair which are not supplementary cannot be drawn. Okay. So, this you have to justify why it cannot be drawn. Because the sum of the angles in a linear pair is 180 degree. They are supplementary and therefore we cannot draw angles in a linear pair which are not supplementary. Okay. Question number 3. Complementary angles that do not form a linear pair. Can we draw them? Yes. Two separate complementary angles we will draw. And they will not form a linear pair. As it is, uh, any complementary angles cannot form a linear pair because supplementary angles form a linear pair. So we can draw this. Complementary angle that do not form a linear pair. Draw two angles whose sum will be 90. Let's see the answer here. We have taken 30 degree angle and 60 degree. Sum is 90. So they fulfill the requirement of the question. So you name the angle, angle ABC, angle PQR or any name that you want to give and show the measures to prove that they are complementary angles and they do not form a linear pair. Fourth question, adjacent angles which are not in a linear pair. Can we draw them? 
yes we have learned to draw adjacent angles with a common arm and if they are not in a linear plane means we have to show them less than 180 that is possible so less than 180 or even less than 90 we have drawn here and we have shown two adjacent angles that is angle b m q and angle q m d are adjacent angles and they are not in a linear pair means they are not supplementary or the sum is not 180 okay so we have fulfilled the requirement of the question so here you are free to draw again any angle of your choice and show a common arm in between showing the different interiors and saying that they are adjacent but they are not in linear pair do not draw a angle in a linear pair for this question 180 degree no only less than 180 you can draw any angle less than 180 okay question number five angles which are neither complementary nor adjacent okay so can we draw them not complementary means the sum should not be 90 yes we can draw such angles and not adjacent yes means we have to draw them separately so possible so let's see the answer 170 degree angle 160 degree angle if you add them the sum is more than 90 it's 130 means they are not complementary and they are not adjacent also they don't have a common arm okay so we have fulfilled the requirement of question number five kindly put the arrows at the end to indicate that it is an angle and do name the angles and write the measures inside so that you can show the answer clearly that they are not complementary and they are not adjacent as well okay moving on to our last question question number six angles in a linear pair which are complementary now again we know angles in a linear pair are always supplementary we cannot draw complementary here so let's see what is the solution angles in a linear pair have their sum as 180 degree but complementary angles have their sum as 90 degree therefore angles in a linear pair which are complementary cannot be drawn so this way you have to write down the solution if they are not complementary or if they cannot be drawn then why they cannot be drawn you have to give the reason and if you can draw them then you have to show it with suitable measures i hope you have followed this simple practice set note that problem number one three four and five have more than one answers students may draw angles other than the one given means i have already mentioned this to you that there could be more than one answers to these questions where you can take angles of different measures which make complementary angle angles or as required in the question so accordingly you can draw and fulfill the requirement of the question okay so keep learning stay safe and thank you